Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for uh, the best songs of 2020's uh, part 4 video. And this is for the final video for the best songs of 2020 part 4 video. So I'm going to discuss from 10 to 1 what I'm going to be talking about this time around. And let you know which songs I picked for my top 10. So let's start off with number 10 which is Bring Me The Horizon Teardrops. Now, I really love this song. Ollie's screaming it is great. And just, this was an amazing track. Uh, sorry, I was actually, earlier I was actually uh, watching a gameplay video for my game, Jedi Fallen Order, and I was like, ooh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, just to get some help that way I figure out how to solve this puzzle piece in the game but yeah bring me the rising teardrops that was a really good song it has some Linkin Park vibes to be honest like the hybrid theory kind of days that hybrid theory kind of sound if you think about it because it really sounds like the Melody sounds like a little bit of an electronic Linkin Park sound, which it's pretty cool But still the song was really good. I really liked it Um, Ollie screaming it and the chorus breakdown is great the breakdowns and the chorus is great and There wasn't much of a breakdown in the song Probably the suicidal, violent, tragic state of mind part where he screams it. But still, at number 10, we have Bring Me the Horizon with Teardrops. At number 9, we have Bring Me the Horizon again with Obey. Now, this was a really awesome song. Young Blood features in this song, and my god, it's lit. It's one of my favorite tracks this year. Favorite songs that I've heard this year. Uh, they did release their post-human survival horror EP, and if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. It's really worth listening to. It came out the day before Halloween, which is pretty cool, but yeah, um, Youngblood featuring in it was really awesome, and I really liked it, uh, just the way Ollie's singing the song is great, and sorry, I was looking at my pen, thought I broke something off my pen or whatever. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked for a moment. <laughs> but, yeah, um, Ollie's screaming at the breakdown, you monsters are people, which is really awesome. I really like that breakdown. That was probably my favorite breakdown in the song. There's... For most of their new songs, there's a lot of breakdowns, except for uh, Teardrops. There was a little breakdown, but not as much, because it relied on the clean vocals from Ollie and some of the screams. Uh, but yeah, number nine, I chose Bring Me Their Rise and Obey as my number nine spot. At number 8, we have Corey Taylor with CMFT Must Be Stopped. Now, this is one of the best songs that I've heard this year. His album wasn't that impressive, but it still was not so bad. Um, I think it was okay. I gave it like a 6.5. That's an okay rating. It's not a great rating, but it's okay. Ooh, sorry for my yawning. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the I don't need nothing on the motherfucking thing part is one of my favorite parts in the song. I really like that. Uh, then you have just, uh, Kid Buki's rapping in the second verse. And then Tech 9 comes in for the last verse. Uh, to end the song or kind of close out the song uh, But it's really awesome. It is a five-minute track, but it is worth listening to 
I personally love this song, and I see myself returning to it a lot. So at number eight, we have Corey Taylor with CMFT Must Be Stopped. Number seven, we have Youngblood again with God Save Me But Don't Drown Me Out. This is one of my personal favorite songs this year. Um, I'm surprised it made it in my top ten. I'm like, damn, <laughs> it's that good. I, w I wish it made it in my top five, but it unfortunately didn't because I got some better ones that are in my top five. Uh, but still, um, this track was a uh, about depression and all that and being in your head and all that and talking about this. Uh, young blood being in his head or whatever and trying to release his demons or something and just trying to break out of that cycle of depression or whatever and it's pretty important topic to talk about but still the song was amazing i really liked it like the music video too it's pretty cool and how it shows him as the teddy bear, which I didn't see that till now. Till, like, recently I saw it, him as the teddy bear doing all that stupid stuff. And I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't see that part. That was fairly new to me. <laughs> I thought it was an actual imaginary teddy bear that was helping him to build up confidence in himself and all that which is pretty cool but still at number seven we have young blood with god save me but don't drown me out number six we have deftones with ohms this was a very awesome song i it is the outro to the album ohms if you haven't heard the album Ohms by Deftones, definitely go check it out. I plan on picking it up soon. I don't know when. It's probably going to be sometime in December. <sighs> Sorry for my yawning. Uh, uh, yeah, Ohms was a really good song. I personally loved it. And I love how Chino Marino's singing in it is great. And... Some of the, I think there was light screaming, not as much, but mostly singing from him, and it's really good. But still, Deftones Alms at number six, and it's a favorite of mine. Uh, at number five, we have Beyond Unbroken with Running Out of Time. This was a really good one. I, it is mellow of them. Like, melodic rock kind of song that you're going to go into when you listen to this song. But it's, it's pretty catchy. It's got a great chorus. It the verses are pretty nice. And the bridge is... Eh, it's fine, but still, I like this song. And I chose it at my number five. So, at number five is Beyond Unbroken with Running Out of Time. Number four is Juice World with Come and Go, featuring Marshmallow. And this song was really lit. I really loved it. Sorry about the dingingness in my phone. It does that a lot. I think it's going to start doing that now. I'm going to have to turn down the volume for that do -do -do thing. <laughs> but... Yeah, Come and Go was a really good song. I didn't think I'd put this in my best songs of 2020, but it made it on the list, surprisingly, and I'm like, damn, I really like this song. So, yeah, at number four, we have Juice World with Come and Go. Sorry, I gotta rush through this so I can fit all of it in one video. Uh, I only have a few more to name off, and then we'll get down to the end of the video. Uh, at number three, we have Man With A Mission with Change The World. Now, this song came out back in June, or late June, and I really love this song. This was one of my personal favorite songs this year. I wish Telescope would have been on this, uh, well, list or whatever, but it might be in my honorable mentions. 
uh, that I'm doing next week. Uh, so definitely tune in for that. Um, I personally enjoyed this song uh, with Tokyo Tanaka's singing is great. Then Gene Kenjani's uh, vocals in it and is really good too. It's pretty lit song. It's very wild, it's very hectic and crazy at times, but it's worth listening to, and I personally love this song. Uh, so at number three, we have Man With A Mission with Change The World. Number two, we have uh, Bad Omens with Limits. I wasn't sure which one to choose for the number one spot, but Bad Omens Limits was a really awesome song. Uh, it was a really good song. I personally love it. Uh, the breakdowns in the chorus is great. And just Noah's singing in it is awesome. And the If You Throw In Me To The Lions and all that, it's great. Even the unplugged version is really nice too. Uh, but still, at number two, we have Bad Omens With Limits. And at number one, drum roll please. Bring me the horizon with Parasite Eve. That is the song of the year for sure. I wasn't sure if it was going to make it as song of the year. But I love it a lot. <laughs> it's one of my personal favorite songs that came out this year. Uh, it made it in my top five and it is song of the year. It is one of the best tracks I've heard, and all of Ollie Sykes's screams in it are great. At the breakdown, it's so great. The "This Is a War" part, uh, which I really like that breakdown. It is kind of a horror gothic kind of song, I guess you could say. I I don't know if I'm saying it right. The gothic word. I'm trying to analyze it or whatever, but. Still, I really like this song. Uh, it's one of my personal favorite songs this year, and it made it at the as song of the year. Uh, that is gonna be it for best songs of 2020 videos that I did for you guys today. Comment below and let me know what you guys' best songs of 2020 are, and if you like the best songs of 2020. Uh, part 4 video and the other parts that I did earlier Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it Tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel I will be returning to you for the day to remember brick wall track review It's gonna happen Probably tomorrow at the latest because I'm not gonna be able to get it get to it tonight uh but, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did hear the Day to Remember song, and I will express what I thought of it in the track review that I do tomorrow. And then I'll be doing the Dark Tranquility Moment album review tomorrow as well. So definitely tune in for all those upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Best Songs of 2020 videos that I made for you guys. For you guys in parts definitely stay safe take care and i'll see you in my next review